Now, this is what I want you to watch. This is kind of a process that you're going to start going through. And at first, you're kind of nervous. I'm just going to tell you, there's no way you can mess this up. Because the time, by the time you, you get to where you're going to be putting your stencil on top of it, and then you're finished, it's going to look beautiful. But what we do want to make sure of is that the, the concentration of the color is not so great. Where we can come in now, look at this. We can come in now just with our hands. If you want to be able to get a brush, you can. I always just like working with my hands. Look at this. Look how I'm blending this. This is the other importance of why it's very, very important to work on a wet surface. You've got to make sure that there's a lot of water in this fabric as you were doing it because it allows you to be able to just blend so beautifully. Now see this edge? Watch this. I can literally take some of this color and just blend it in together with my hands. If I was working with a brush, and a lot of times, and I have done that before, I'll see some stippling in it, and I'm really not happy with it when it gets to the end of it. So I have just, every time I've done this before, I'm like, I'm just going to work with my hands. So this first pass that you're doing it, make sure that you get these edges of where you've laid the sponge down, where they're kind of blended. Now, this isn't about making it all look the same because I don't want you to I don't want you to lose your variances. Um, now, from a distance on this camera, I can tell um, it looks more pronounced than it is in person, and it's going to dry down lighter than it is right now. You've always got to take that into mind as far as it's going to be darker right now, and then when it dries, it's going to be much less pronounced in your variables of light, medium, and dark, and it's going to look more like one. 